3B and relating to ourselves, why is learning to draw a circle a new way so difficult for us? Why is that? Um, why is it that our perspective becomes so entrenched that we can't see outside of that? Why is it that, for example, it's so hard for us to move from that egocentric view, it's my world, I'll do what I want, to an ethnocentric world, I'll do only what the people who are in my tribe, my family, my nation, my religion, whatever, tell me is right, to finally enjoy a more world-centric view, to begin to recognize that there are other perspectives out there. Why is that so difficult for us? And another interesting question for us is, what new thing, starting this week, can you try that will begin to help you metaphysically draw your circle a different way. A new friend, a new experience, maybe listening to a lecture like this is the beginning of something very important in your life. Uh, Thoreau, the great student of, er of Emerson, and we'll study in a while here in his wall, and says, there are some people who actually mark the very beginnings of their whole life from the reading of a new book, reading a new uh, book, or gaining a new insight. Finally, we finish with the thinker that uh, we often don't think of as being so influential because of Emerson, but it's absolutely true in, in, in the great Nietzsche, who will play that game of eternal reoccurrence. Now, he's not arguing that this is true. He's just asking you a thought experiment. If tonight you were to die, and the moment you flatline, you go back to the very beginning of your life, and you have to live every single moment of your life again the exact same way. He asks... In, uh, 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 Nietzsche asks, if this, were, if this were something that happened to you, how would you think about the experience of reliving every moment of your life up to this moment? If that for you would be absolute hell, then Nietzsche says, you might want to be uh, uh, challenging yourself to think about the rest of this day and tomorrow. In other words, about any action that you commit, ask this simple question. Am I willing to say I would do it again and again and again, over and over again? Of course, this idea then challenges us to see the challenges, the negative times of our life, and grow from them. We certainly can do that if we have the appropriate attitude. The classic essay circles can maybe help us to begin to kind of think in new and evolutionary ways. Well, from circles, we next turn to Emerson's celebration of the poet, which, of course, is going to not surprise us, going to be a, um, a celebration of all great thinkers. By poet here, we'll mean artists. I hope you come back to join me. Thank you.